Well, it's Friday, and so this is the beginning of my Friday night ritual. I'm getting ready to leave work, and I thought I'd include this as part of the video. Uh, as many of you know, here at the store, we're operating as a cafe and an e-cig shop, and we're in the middle of a remodel. And so right now, what we're doing is we're selling the e-cigs, but we're not selling the coffee yet. We'll be doing that here soon. Uh, it's coming along. We get closer every day and I'm certainly ready to start selling the coffee because I'm tired of going across the way and getting that fast food coffee that they sling out. I can make better and it's going to be good when we finally get that going. I know we've got our TV out now. It's on. We've got our stuff set up. We're going to mount that onto the wall and then over here we're going to mount the other TV up onto the wood panels. So it's a little bit of a remodel update for you. I'm biking home and that'll make, after I get home, it's like 10 miles from the store to my house. That'll be like 70 miles this week that I've biked. Because I do like 10 here, 10 back. And it's just a good way to work out when I don't have time to run. I really need to get a run in tomorrow morning though before I come in again. Saturday morning I gotta work. But I'm just doing that so that I can be clear to go to the Indie Pop Con next weekend in Indianapolis. It's going to be pretty awesome. I'm hoping to meet some fellow YouTubers there, network with some folks, and then you'll be able to see that. I'm going to stop at the store on the way home and get some food for tonight's ritual. Yeah. And so that's it. I'm probably going to bring you guys along with me. So let's go. I'm going into Aldi, which is like a local discount store. And I'm glad I remembered my sack because they don't have bags here. It's like they're uh, one of those places that just like saves on costs. You even have to use like quarters to put into the into the shopping carts to take around the store or else it's like locked into the cart corral. So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna look for some fruit and I'm gonna try to stay light because I'm biking back with this stuff, putting it on my handlebars, you know, the bag and that's what's going on. Let's go in there and get us some food. Fruit and then some buffalo chicken and Wraps. I'm gonna make some wraps with that tonight, and then here you've got uh, all these discounted goods, and you can make yourself a real nice dinner. It'll be a good time. So I'm gonna head on out of here. Hopefully, this isn't too much to bike home with. It's not the ideal way to shop, is when you're on a bike. It's always really busy in Aldi. A lot of people love that store. There's just so many discounted goods and food that they want through the week when they don't want to go into a supermarket and buy a whole load of stuff so I didn't buy too much I just got what I needed for tonight's dinner I didn't want to eat too heavy because it's just so tired I want to kick back and relax have a snack type of food which is exactly what I got I'll show you when I pull that all out I think you guys will like it might be something you want for yourselves but this is the main road back here this is McGalliard and it's a pretty major road it goes through and by all of the businesses and I am on the trailhead right now, the Greenway, the bike trail that I always ride. You guys have seen it before if you've watched any of my other videos. Got this short bike ride home that I'm going to be on and then we're kicking back. The movie I want to watch tonight was recommended to me by my buddy Sean Phillips and I'm not even going to mention the title. I've got to see if it's on Netflix still and then I'll talk about it uh, when I find out that it's still there. I've got a few backups that I'll watch if that's not on there. There's several things that I wanted to watch and review. But let's get out of here. I gotta get, I gotta get home. I'm talking too much to the camera. Yeah, we're in business now. We got this. I'm ready to start this Friday night ritual with a bang. I've got my food all made up. I'm ready to eat, and I am pretty hungry. It's about 9:05, 9:10, and it's still a little light out. So you can tell May is almost over, and summer is pretty much here. You can. See the sun coming on in through my room. It's setting though. And the uh, food that I've got set up here, like I told you a little bit at the store, I've got these buffalo chicken strips. I turned them into wraps and I poured blue cheese dressing over them. And I've got a bowl of grapes and uh, strawberries. I'm a big fan of fresh fruit. And then my glass of ice cold lemonade. Try to get a little creative here with this wrap and I failed but it's gonna be pretty delicious. There's about three or four chunks of really good meaty white chicken uh, with buffalo breading over it. And that is the deal. I've got my Paul Robinette candle going and my room smells pretty delicious right now. Pretty good, it's a Cabernet scented candle and 
it's a really good thing to just light up for a Friday night ritual. And this movie that I'm going to watch, I, I did find it on, on Netflix. It's Jack the Reaper. And the, ti- the, the subtitle or the uh, description of the movie reads, When a group of teens set out on a field trip to learn about the Industrial Revolution, a merciless maniac has a different plan in mind for them. And it is a horror movie. It's a B-horror film is what it's categorized as. And the director is Kimberly... Try to pronounce this one. Sealhammer? Sealhammer? And there's really no one in it that I recognize in the cast names. But like I said, Sean Phillips recommended this to me when I was talking to him about movies that uh, we both enjoyed or that I haven't seen and that he has or the other way around, vice versa. So... Uh, here soon I'm going to watch one of the films that Sean was in that's coming out. It, he was starred in it with Danny Trejo, and I'll talk about that more when we actually watch that in a Friday Night Ritual. But I'm going to go ahead and try some of this food. Let me try to do it, you know, one-handed. I, I don't know. I'm kind of nervous about this. It'll fall out everywhere. It's the uh, buffalo chicken wrap with the blue cheese dressing. This is going to look awkward on camera. Hmm. You can ask anyone that knows me. I'm a I'm a buffalo fanatic. I eat the stuff pretty regular. These uh grapes and then one of these strawberries. Mmm. That's what we call erotic and exotic. And then uh, I really, I really enjoy my lemonade. I'll try some of this. It's good stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and start this movie here in a minute. But <clears throat> it's been a good week. I've worked a lot, and like I've said in in the other videos that I've posted this week, and then tonight. I'm really just gearing up for this indie comic con, this indie pop con, this pop culture. It's a lot of the, a lot of things online. Um, a lot of podcasters are going to be there. There's going to be cosplay, so there's going to be people in costumes. And I always enjoy that. I really like the uh, the girls that dress up, and especially the girls that dress up in like the Zelda stuff. Yeah, it's nice. Start this, okay? Netflix, let's go. And it's always good. It just It's so calm. It's, it's calm and relaxing to just sit back in a Friday night ritual and watch a movie. So that's what we're doing now. And I'll go ahead and update through halfway this movie. I'm going to eat some more of this food and just enjoy my evening. Friday night ritual. I have to show you this first scene. This kind of freaked me out. It starts out in the 50s. Guy's in a car wreck. His wife's out laying on the ground. And this is what happens. This guy starts walking up. This is really weird. That Jack the Reaper, he's a bastard. Sir, we're desperate and need your help. Desperately. You know what my wife is? Sir. 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 No! Yeah. Gee. Man. Railroad Jack, I guess. I don't know. This is a real good uh, horror film. Just in the opening scenes, I'm kind of like taken aback and shocked. Like, that's the worst thing. Just to be at somebody else's mercy after you're in a car wreck. The worst. I I don't show much of the movies because, you know, that's a spoiler thing. But that was the opening scene in Jack the Reaper. And now they go to present day. All these teenagers are showing up for some type of a field trip. And uh, (laughs) there's this kid right there. Do not let those boys pick on you, Harold. Okay? You stick up for yourself. Do you understand me? Yes, Nana. Just look at those pricks. Think that the world is their oyster and they can just pluck out the pearl for themselves and leave nothing for you, Harold. Nana. I feel like that they really are. That reminds me of uh, oh, your eyes. one of my buddies who drives around and does his around the towns. And uh <laughs> I'll just <laughs> I'll, all I'll say is this uh, Sean yes it's true and, and that's all I can say that's all I can say 
I really try not to show too many clips of movies, but you've got to see this. This is great. Do you want to know what they really are? Jerks. They are lobotomized fuckers, and you do not take any crap from them. Do you understand me, Harold? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so, what are they? Lobotomized fuckers. Very good. <laughs> I can't wait to see where this movie leads. I love independent f horror films, and I'm going to definitely talk about this this movie and some of the uh, horror genre groups and uh, chat rooms I'm in online, but this is, this is beyond. I mean, we're, what, 10 minutes in, and I'm already... I'm already loving it. It's so good. Okay, that's, that's it for now. I, I'm done. I mean it. There's a good 10, 15 minutes left in this movie. And then I'll be done with it. It's really good so far. I think it's a great B-horror film. Um, I paused it for a little while there and took a shower because I just felt real... Ugh, from riding, from biking today, and I needed to wash the day off of me. I'm really ready to climb into bed. So after this movie's over, I'm probably not even going to listen to any music videos or do any of the regular end-of-the-night kind of stuff. Uh, I'm just going to go to sleep. i got to get up and try to go on a run in the morning, but yeah, anyways, this movie, uh, it's about these, this group of kids, there's actually several of them, and they all come together, and each of them have their own problems, and it really reminded me of The Breakfast Club in that sense, where they each come from their own walks of life, and they're trying to relate with each other, they don't get along terribly well, in fact, no, they don't get along at all, <laughs> the whole movie, they're sitting there cussing at each other, and you know, calling names, and being bullies, and all that, I just kept thinking, oh, this is rich. You know, that beginning where that chubby kid is like, oh, they're lo lobotomized fuckers and all that. I, That kid, he's one of my favorites, and you'll just have to see how things play out with him. I really would recommend this movie, and I've not seen the very end of it yet, but I, what I will say is, like, the whole film, you're kept in suspense as to what the villain, which is... Uh, Jack the Reaper what he looks like and who he is you just find out little tidbits throughout and it keeps like there's all this suspense and it builds up and builds up and that's one of my favorite things about horror films is like when it just throws everything out at you and you know the answer it's not so interesting but when you're given these tidbits and you go along you're like oh man what's what's gonna happen next that's that's what really keeps you hanging it's like a cliffhanger you find things out as you go so yeah, I'd recommend it, uh, but I can't give my review completely because it's not over yet. I'm going to finish this, and then I'll do a little bit of an update then. Well, that was a hell of an interesting movie. I, I would definitely recommend it. I'm going to give it the full rating on Netflix so that other people can find it and, and watch it. Um, there are some really good actors and actresses in that movie. Uh, but basically they're on a field, these kids are on a field trip for their high school because they messed up in a class, they didn't do things the way they needed to be done, so they have to take this trip, and if they do that right, then they can pass the class, and, uh, that trip doesn't go so well, obviously. Um, yeah, I, I'd say great B-horror film to see, and, uh, it's about 11.33, so I'm not good, Put my Paul Robinette candle out there and shut things down, get ready to go to bed. I'm uh, I'm looking forward to turning my box fan on over here, if you can see that. There we go. And uh, opening my window, having some of that cool air come in on me. And listening to some of this, uh, this is a weird thing, but I'll tell you about it. This ASMR stuff. On, on YouTube. A lot of you will probably know what I'm talking about, but where they, uh, these women, and you can find men, you can find anybody, you know, they've got lists of people with accents or whatever you like, and they'll whisper to you, and they say relaxing things like, oh, I know, it's been a hard day, and so I'm going to talk to you like this, and you can relax and go to sleep. It's really kind of, it's almost creepy, really, but uh, it's just, it's very calming, and, and you've pass out to that stuff that's uh you know how someone talks real calm in a calm voice and it is just a nice thing well anyways i'm not gonna go on too long about that but sometimes uh i listen to that 
<laughs> I'm really, I, I don't know why it's stupid, but I'm embarrassed to even say that. <laughs> I'm not the kind of dude that listens to uh, uh, women whisper to me, but you know, seduce me. Okay, yeah, I like it. So that's really the Friday Night Ritual. Um, it's really relaxing. Got to see this movie. Very good. I'm going to have to tell my friend Sean that I liked it. And hopefully you guys will see it too. Um, that's, that's all. I hope all is well in your neck of the woods. And this is just the beginning. So for all of you who are new to my channel and new to my videos, you know I will be posting these every Friday, whether it be a Friday night ritual or more of a Friday night times doing things and showing you what I'm up to. Uh, but I, I like that format because then you get the weekly update and you know that you're going to get something every week, even when I get caught up and busy with other stuff, work and what have you. But that's all. Yeah.